this video I'm going to solve practice problems on Gibbs free energy. As a quick reminder, here are the formulas we need. We are interested in the change in the Gibbs free energy and to find that we use the formula delta G for the system is equal to delta H, so that's our enthalpy, minus the temperature times the change in entropy for the system too. And to find those two, the, the change in entropy of formation and the change in ent and enthalpy of formation, we are going to use the formulas that I that we've seen before. So this for the enthalpy of, of formation, the the sum of the number of moles times the enthalpy of formation for the products minus the sum of the number of moles times the enthalpy of formation for the reactants. And the same applies for the change in entropy. So right here, it will be the sum of the number of moles times the entropy of formation for the products minus the sum of the number of moles times the entropy of formation for the reactants. And that will give us the change in delta H and delta S, which we will put right here. And the temperature, we can obtain that from the problem. So let's solve a problem right now. So right here, we have a reaction, and we want to find the change in Gibbs free energy. And we're given the change in enthalpy of formation and, and entropy of formation. So let's use the, the formula I just gave you. Also, we know that the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So let's start with our enthalpy, the change in enthalpy of formation for the system. So I'm going to write that in red. Now, we start with the product. So we're going to start with bromine. Bromine has zero enthalpy of formation and there's only one mole. So that's going to be one mole times zero. I'm going to put all of this in brackets just to mark the product. Now HNO2 has two moles and it has an enthalpy of formation of negative 119. I won't write the units yet just because it would take too much space and it would make just the calculation too long. But just so I didn't write it up here, the delta H is in kilojoules per mole. the delta S is in joules over mole times Kelvin. So let's continue. We can close this right here and that will be it for our products. And that is minus the reactants. So we're going to open brackets for the reactants. We'll start with the hydrogen. So we have two moles times zero plus now we have bromine again two moles times negative 121.6 and finally two moles of NO2 times 33.18 to make this calculation even easier, we can just say this two are zero because of the zero multiplying there. And that should give you that the enthalpy of the change in enthalpy of formation of the system is equal to negative sixty one point sixteen. Also we said that the units used in here for kilojoules per mole when multiplied times the mole that would take out the mole out of the unit 
and we would just get kilojoules. So this is the first part. Now we need to find the change in entropy of the formation of the system. Okay, so we'll follow the same steps for the entropy of formation. Delta S for the system is going to be equal to, again we'll start with the product, so we'll start with the bromine right here. And it still has one mole. I'm still going to open brackets, same, same process. So one mole times 152.2. This time it's in joules over mole Kelvin, meaning that we're going to get the final change in joules over Kelvin. And we'll have to change that to kilojoules. Now that is plus two moles times 135.6 minus we go to the hydrogen 2 moles times 0 plus 2 moles times 82.4 plus 2 moles times 240.1 we can cancel this one because it's zero and you should get for the change in entropy of formation for the system a value of negative 221.6 joules over kelvin and because we want that in the same units as the enthalpy will change that to kilojoules you can do the opposite and change the enthalpy to joules whichever you prefer so we'll say that this is equal to negative 0 0.2216 kilojoules over kelvin finally we'll plug that in our formula so that was delta g of the system then we had the enthalpy minus the temperature times the entropy. We have all of those. This was negative 61.16 kilojoules minus we want the temperature in Kelvin. So it was 25, meaning that is 298.15 Kelvin times our value of entropy, which was 0 0.2216, negative 0 0.2216 kilojoules per Kelvin. So we will get delta G is negative 61.16 kilojoules plus and that's because we had two negative signs plus 66.07 kilojoules now we have a simple subtraction and delta G would be equal to positive 4.9 kilojoules one more question I could add to this is if this is spontaneous or non spontaneous and if you know the terms like exergonic and endergonic that would apply to so in this case when we have a delta G that's more than zero or positive then we get a non-spontaneous reaction, also called endergonic. So, non-spontaneous. Or, endergonic.
well that was it for this video in the next video i will solve a problem in which you're given the delta that gives free energy of formation for reactants and products in a reaction and you want the gives free energy of, of the system so thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it and found it useful and if you did please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one